of the corporate looking for employees with the ability to investigate the problems and to find the ideal solutions in a timely and efficient manner analytical thinking is the ability to collect and analyze the information and the research what are the collecting the data and to take the decision and the problem solving and the applying the innovative methodology and applying your creativity and to identify the solutions and to take the decision accordingly on that why analytical thinking is very important number 1 to articulate and to visualize the problem how the predictive decision are going to take are you getting the new ideas to formulate and strategizing the ideas number 2 to gather information the collection of information will help you to plan for the future focus on the future number 3 to explore the facts and figures with the possible options with a systematically approach so how we are dealing with that how we are applying whether are you applying for the systematic manner to help the handle the situation in an organized and a systematic manner number 4 to find the suitable solutions whether the solution addressing the problem the problems come to the innovative ideas new thought process any creativity is there these are the four important things important for the analytical thinking visualizing the problem the collection of information systematic approach and to take the ideal decision what are the process involved in the analytical thinking there are six process involved in the analytical thinking number 1 recognize the underlying issues where is the problem how we are going to handle it first we have to identify the problem only then we can able to take the step and we can plan accordingly on that and number 2 break down the problems into the pieces the key parts the problem on the face of it looks very high we have to step we have to break it into the key parts where, where where we are going to address it how we are going to address it what is the organized way we are going to achieve it so we have to break into the key parts then we can see how we are going to handle it number 3 organize information with the underlying issues we may be collecting a lot of data we may be getting lot of ideas how to solve it whether it is relevant to the problems whether it is relevant to the solutions whether we can able to collect the data what we are collecting the data based on that whether we can able to take the decision whether the useful or not useful you have to take the decisions and you can plan accordingly on that number 4 recognize the cause and effect what is the reason behind that while analyzing the things we have to understand what is the reason behind that what is the logical way of thinking how we are going to approach then what is the implication behind that all be satisfied with the what the management want so we have to think through and we have to understand the situations we have to visualize the what is the root cause of the problem so what is the solution on that and the fifth one integrate and analyze the complexity of the problem the integrate all the key parts and the collective fact collective solutions and analyze the, what is the complexity behind that number 6 draw a proper conclusion finalize the decision the decision making is a very vital or we taking the ideal solution we have to take the decision and accordingly we can conclude on that analytical mindset are able to identify the problem to collect the information research analyze how we are going to handle it and arrive the solutions in a timely and efficient manner the analytical thinking involved in the three aspects number 1 problem solving number 2 decision making number 3 the logical reasoning behind that whatever the issue how we are taking the decision how we are solving the problem are we applying the logical reason behind that will help you to understand the situation in a effective and a efficient manner to apply the data and the research and the arrive the ideal solution on that this video we discussed about what is analytical thinking why it is important the what is the steps what is the process involved on the analytical thinking next video we'll discuss about what are the skills required for the analytical thinking how to improve it thank you